Hi everyone, I just wanted to come on and talk to you really quickly about something that I get a lot of questions about, especially in my Facebook group, and it's on how to change your life. So first of all, in January, for every week in January, I did a video on how you can learn how to change your life, shift your life, get rid of bad habits, create better habits, and just generally start the year off better than you started off the previous year. Now, just because we're experiencing unexpected challenges this year doesn't mean that you can't change your own individual life and make your life better in some way. So I wanna kinda of talk to you a little bit about how I believe you change your life and what I use to change my life, what I've used in the past to change my life. The first thing that I believe is that all change starts with the way that you think. I really am a big believer in the fact that thoughts are what creates what you eventually will manifest in life. To put it in a simplistic point of view, before you decorate a room, before you see it come to life, you have to think about and you have to have a vision for what you want that room to look like. Your life is the same way. And whether you are intentionally doing that process by really thinking about the things that you wanna create in your life, versus subconsciously doing it and not really having control of your mind and letting your mind take control of you and letting your thoughts control your feelings, your attitudes, your beliefs, etc. You are creating your life by the way that you think because those ways that you think eventually solidify into beliefs. So it means that you start to think that those thoughts are true. And once you think that those thoughts are true, you start to behave in a way that is congruent with the belief that you've set for yourself. And so that becomes your attitude toward life. If you want to change your life, it starts with changing yourself. It starts with changing the way that you think. The next thing I think that you have to do is you have to dream. There are many of us that want to have things in our life that may be people that we know in our lives have never had before. And so for some of us to really align our thoughts with something so big or something of great magnitude could be a little bit difficult. So I believe that not only do you have to have different thoughts and you have to have thoughts around what you want to manifest and you have to learn how to control your mind and control your thoughts so that they are in alignment with what you want to manifest. But I also think that you have to dream a little bit. So dreaming means that you may have to align with something that is a big, crazy, audacious goal for you. If you want to be a millionaire or you want to live an extraordinary life and you don't know what those people think like or you don't know anybody that's ever done it before, that is where you have to tap into your dreams. So I think you think a little bit, but I think dreams stretch you. And I think that dreams also align you with a deep desire and a deep passion for something that you really want in your life. And it allows you to visualize, it allows you to daydream about something that you could have in the future. Because what I truly believe is that if you want to manifest super fast, you have the thought, but then you also have the dream, which I believed is backed with a feeling with a burning desire. When you put those two things together, that is the recipe for manifesting fairly quickly. This is the third thing that I think is very important. And I think that people don't give this enough credit, especially in the spiritual community. There's a lot of people that say, all you have to do is think a certain way or have positive thoughts, or they misinterpret the law of attraction. And so they think all you have to do is think a certain way, or like I'm telling you to do, dream a certain way. That is the first part of it. Then you have to learn how to be that. So what do millionaires do? What do people that live extraordinary lives do? What and who do you need to become? What type of personality do you need to adapt or adopt in order to create the life that you want? You cannot say that you are trying to change your life, but still go through life with the same personality, the same habits, the same traits, because you're not really going to shift your life if you don't shift who you are. Once you shift who you are and become a person that would be rich or that would be debt free or that would be educated or that would be beautiful, then that is how you start to manifest on your outer world. You have to think it, you have to dream, 
but then you have to become it. You have to be it. And once you can do all three of those things, you will be able to have what it is that you want to have. And the quicker you can align the thinking, the dreaming and the being will be the quicker that you can manifest the things that you really want to manifest. That lag time is going to be up to you. It's going to be up to how much you believe you can manifest what you want. It can be, it's going to be up to you dreaming and really having a deep desire to have something in your life. This is not saying that you want something or that it would be nice to have. This is like a passionate, burning, obsessive desire about something that you want to create in your life, whether that be something big or whether that be something small. The, the more you can tap into that feeling, the faster that you're going to manifest what you want. And then what really speeds it up is when you become a person that would be attracted to that. So you don't wait until you lose the weight in order to feel like you have succeeded at something. What would somebody that is already the size that you want to be, what would they be doing? And then you need to be that. Shifts come from changing who you are, from changing your thoughts, from changing your actions, and from changing your personality. And it really is that simple. Again, you do all those things, you're going to manifest things very quickly. The, the big twist that I like to tell my students about how you can also make this process a lot more clear for you is through the use of your tarot cards. You can have a thought and you can have a dream, but I think that where tarot really will ground you in the things that you want to create and the things you want to manifest and where it helps me out the most is on the being and the having part of manifestation because maybe you have a thought that you want to build a big business so that's your thought and you have a dream and a burning desire to do that but you really don't know what traits you need to adopt in order to be a person that does that maybe that feels like it's out of reach for you when you're able to ask your tarot cards certain questions about what it is that you need to do who you need to be what do you need to do next to be more successful? And you're able to get those answers on demand. It is going to give you a step-by-step -step blueprint on what you need to do to be able to move through life more successfully. There are four specific ways that Tarot will do that. And the first way is through prediction. If you're able to pull cards in anticipation for what's going to happen in the future, that means that you are forewarned. And if you are forewarned and you normally will respond a certain way to certain situations, that means that you know ahead of time what you need to do in order to navigate a situation and in order to shift energy in that situation so you can respond differently than you normally would. As you start to respond differently, you start to develop a habit that becomes a part of your personality that is different than it was in the past, which means you are becoming a different person. And the more that you can make these little minute choices toward doing things differently in life, doing things better in life, the more you're going to shift who you are and it will eventually become hardwired in your brain your neurons the synapses the little roadways and pathways in your brain will start to connect to the new way that you are responding to the things that happen in your life and pretty soon that will be who you really are but all you have to do is show up a little bit at a time anticipating what's going to come up next and tarot will already tell you what it's going to be and then you use your tarot and you use the skills that you learn through personal development to be able to respond differently and by responding differently you start to create different and better outcomes for yourself so you have prediction and then you also have anticipation. And I kind of blended those two together, but not only is Tarot gonna help you predict what's coming up, but it'll also help you anticipate what it is that you need to do to shift your life. So for instance, if you wanted to know what your biggest obstacle would be to losing weight would be, you can ask your tarot cards that question and your tarot cards are gonna tell you exactly what that obstacle is going to be. So you can brainstorm ways to get around any challenges, hurdles, obstacles, whatever it may be in order to successfully navigate those things and not have any trip ups, not have any setbacks and not have any backslides. 
The third way that tarot can help you if you want to change your life and you want to learn how to manifest and you want more guidance around manifesting is that tarot can help you shift the energy. The biggest thing that shifts energy is how you move in the world. So I already explained to you how if you are able to shift your personality, become who it is that would be aligned to the things that you want to have, and you are able to do that little by little, every choice that you get to move in that direction, then you're going to manifest what you want. But it, tarot helps you shift the energy because it's almost like a hack for you, right? Um, a lot of people are not going to be able to know what's coming up before it happens. A lot of people are not going to know what they need to do specifically in order to align with the things that they want to manifest. But your tarot, all you have to do is shuffle your cards and pull some cards and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do to shift the energy in your life. And so that is the third way that your tarot cards are going to help you you're gonna be able to shift energy. And the faster you can shift energy and move through parallel universes is gonna be the determining factor on how fast you get what you want. Lastly, a way that I like to use tarot to help me shift my life is to ask for guidance on manifestations. Because sometimes there are things that we may desire and we may be either playing small, we may be on the wrong track or what we want is not for the highest and best good of where we are in life right now and so it's always for me a good idea to check in with my desires so maybe i can ask questions about how i should prioritize the things that i want to manifest what do i need to do more of to call in the things that i want to manifest what do i want to do less of what should i do less of to you know speed up my manifestation process all of those things are at your disposal if you learn how to read tarot cards before i leave i want to show you one thing it is my motto that i use for my life in conjunction with using my tarot cards almost every day and with those two things together i'm able to manifest almost anything that i've ever wanted and if i didn't get what i wanted it was later revealed to me why through divine timing i didn't get what i wanted on my own timeline oh it seems like the lighting changed a little bit okay so i'm gonna try to show you my screen and on my phone i have my own model that i created and it's think dream be and have and it says i meditate and contemplate to consciously form my beliefs i elevate those insights with desire and purpose i rehabilitate and renovate all of who i am to evolve into my vision and i dominate my world and in turn i manifest my dreams so that is yashika's intuition's motto it's think dream be have i meditate and contemplate to consciously form my beliefs I elevate those insights with desire and purpose. I rehabilitate and renovate all of who I am to evolve into my vision. And I dominate my world and in turn, I manifest my dreams. And I do that because I have a vision. I think, I dream, I be, I have. And then I use my tarot cards to hack. All right, so if you wanna learn more about how you can use tarot cards to help you to hack your life, to help you to think, dream, be, and have, then I did extend the enrollment for the Intro to Tarot class, so I'll leave all the information for you to be able to sign up for class below. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. Otherwise, I will talk to you later. Bye.